Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating dynamic text using the Power BI text box. And this dynamic text will have measures embedded into it, which will change depending on the filters that are applied to each report. OK, so let's get started. So this is a drill through page from the home page and I want to add in some dynamic text in here. So I've already added a text box and it's got a title here and this is a text box you need to add so it's one of the standard visualizations for, for Power BI. And the first thing I'm going to do is just start typing in some of the text that I want to display. And I want to call out the number of work orders that are actually selected within this particular um, filter context that's been inherited from the through the drill through. So I'm going to put there R, and then I want to put a value in here. So I'm going to click on this plus value option here, which is shown in this text box. So whenever you click on the text box, this will pop up, and I'm going to add a value in. Okay, now the first thing I want to do is go and find this value here by typing it in this box here. Now I know that the measure I'm looking for here is batlock count. Okay, so let's start typing that. And we can see that battle count is there. So let's add that in. And underneath we can see the result. So we're fairly confident that that 109 is the, the value that we're looking for. So I'm just going to go and then add a name here to actually reference this particular um, measure within this text box. Yep, and I'm going to save that and we can see it's added that value in here. So let's go and modify this. Now all of these, the beauty of using this is all of these options here, all of these formatting options to bold it, italics, change the colour, change the size, add bullet points etc. They're all available for us because we're using the standard text box. So the first thing I want to do is make everything 14 and I'm going to make everything the same colour, which is going to be this colour here. And I am going to make sure that only this value here is bold. OK, so there's 109 and then in brackets, I want to put the, the hours. So 109 work orders, but I'll put in brackets how many hours that is to add a value. And then we're going to go bat log, and it's going to be hours. And I call this bat log hours. I'm going to save that. Okay, so 109, and that's 2,676. We'll just do a little bit of formatting here. Okay, so there are 109 work orders, which is 2,676 hours that have been in bat log. And then in here, I am going to put in uh, another value for the number of days in Batlog which have been selected as part of this drill through here. Let's go back to home. So we can see here, if I drill through on this 109 here and open this up, I've actually drilled through on work orders which are greater than 100 days, okay? So which have been, been in Batlog for, and then in here, I'm going to add another measure that I've created which is called days in Batlog. So T TXT days in Batlog. OK, and we can see that is greater than 100 days. OK, so as you can see, greater, I've got a little typo there, but that's in the category, so I'm not going to go and change it at the moment. But if I go back into the home page, so these are 109 work orders that have been greater than 100 days. Now, if I drill through for this one here, which is 50, 200 days. We can see there are 275 work orders, which is just over 10,000 hours that have been in backlog for 50 to 100. And then we just add the word days. Okay, so that is really as much as um, as much you need to do here. Really straightforward, really simple to add. Now I'm just going to add another little one in here, which is going to show the percentage of this as a total, or the percentage of the work orders which are um, 50 to 100 days as a percentage of the total because I know I've already calculated that. 
So we can leverage that measure in this text here. Okay, this is 36.9% of the total backlog. Now, the reason I got this is I want to be able to go in now and change this here to only be one decimal point. And you can do this directly in this text box. And I'm going to go in here and we can see that it's got this percentage here. And I'm just going to change that slightly. And let's go and put one. Now, it's changed it back to a decimal number. So you do need to watch how it's actually cl um, classifying this. Um, the reason being, if I now put that to zero decimal places, it's going to actually show it as a zero. So what you need to do is just go back to this percentage, put zero in here, and we can see it's actually going to display that. It's going to round it up to 37. Okay, so this is 37 um, percent of the total backlog. Now it's added this little space in here, which isn't great, but there's not much you can do about that at this point in time. But there we have it. It's um, really straightforward to add some dynamic text. And if I go back to my home page and I drill through on another one of these, we can see that it's all been updated for this particular selection here. So hopefully it's given you some ideas on how you can add or quickly add and leverage some of the existing measures you've got to create dynamic text boxes, particularly for titles and areas of the um, areas of your, your report that you just want to add a little bit of extra narrative just to help understand and, um, and, and guide people through some of the most important figures or facts and figures related to the information that's been displayed. So thanks again for listening. If you found this useful, it would be great if you could give it a thumbs up. And if you're finding this for the first time and you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified whenever I release a video, which is around once, around about once a week. Okay, cheers for listening and I'll talk to you in the next video.